Justin, war is hell. Hey, wait a minute. That's not war. That's He-Man. It's He-Man's and his old pal, Skeleton Boy. And, that's uh, actually Man-at-Arms. That isn't a bunch of He-Man's. It's a bunch of he-, he Mans, and I think there's a couple battle cats in there too. Uh, Justin, this is Toy Soldiers War Chest, uh, a new entry in the tower defense shooter hybrid game series from Signal Studios uh, that is out now, uh, and it, it does a lot of the same stuff that you might expect from the from the Toy Soldiers franchise. You can put down towers and then you can inhabit those towers and control them manually. You can do the same with uh, troops on the ground and vehicles. Um, but what makes it special is He-Man's in this one and he hasn't been in any of the other ones. That's so. true. That's irrefutable. Uh, it's not just He-Man's though. Uh, there is uh, G.I. Joe's are in this one too and everyone's favorite childhood toy franchise, Assassin's Creed no, is wait a in minute. this one too. Uh, you remember watching the Assassin's Creed... Oh, there was Orko. Bye. Uh, ev- everyone's favorite cartoon from the late 80s, Assassin's Creed, Ezio and Friends. Yeah, I love uh, that series. You know what I love? The, uh, 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 what I love is the most is the uh, the cereal. Yeah, et- Ezio Flakes. They're, Ezio, yeah, they're, yeah, Ezio Flakes. I remember I can't get that jingle out of my head. Nothing is true. Everything is sweetened with corn syrup. Right, yeah. right, sure. Um, so yeah, uh, you can, uh, once you rack up enough, uh, points by killing things in like combos using your, your towers firsthand, then you can control the star of each toy set. Um, it, it's neat and it adds some, some cool twists. Like the, the towers all have like a different feel The factions. I feel like have their own sort of different feel. Um, Ezio and He-Man, especially He-Man, uh, are more melee focused, mm-hmm. which is which is kind of unique. Uh, here I am playing as Cobra. Uh, I, for me, the highlight is actually just sort of the settings. Uh, this, like, uh, uh, I don't know, this this fun fairy fairy tale slash playground battleground is, is pretty wonderful. There's a pack of Skittles back there. There's like a D&D playground, but there's also like magic cards scattered all over the place. Um, that, that, I feel like, sets this apart more than the, uh, the licensed characters. Uh-oh. Oh, Co- dunk. Cobra's here. See, like, that makes a lot of sense to me. It does make as much sense that, like, Ezio would be, like, unleashed as a hero on the battlefield. Because it seems like you'd want right. to keep him a little sneakier. Well, yes. Yeah. And, I mean, it, this is a Ubisoft-published product, so you gotta get some, What are you gonna do, rap, rabbits? Well, shit, rabbits actually... That would be sweet, Might have, actually. That would have made more sense, it I see, feel like. It seemed like watching the trailer for this when it was announced that a lot of the, the properties in here that aren't licensed were, like, placeholder for hopefully they can get this license. Like, maybe we'll get My Little Pony. I don't know. We'll try it. Yeah, it would be dope to get Care Bears. We'll, yeah. see, we'll see what we, see can, what we do. can do. Yeah. Um, here's a kind of a bummer thing about this. Um, the, these extra... Uh, I, I say extra because that is, in fact, exactly what they are. These licensed... Uh, uh, teams, G.I. Joe, Cobra, uh, He-Man, and Assassin's Creed don't come with the $15 like regular version of War Chest. What? You you can buy them for five bucks a pop or $15, you can get all four of them, or you can buy the $30 like Hall of Fame edition, which comes with all of it. So that's kind of like, I, I, I've always enjoyed these games. For thirty dollars seems like a little bit steep for, for yeah. that. And it's of course it's like not necessary, but it's like when it's people like, talk why about are you this playing it if right, not like, when people talk like, about this game, it's gonna be oh the one with the G.I. Joe's in it, right? But you right. have to like pay a little bit extra to get those. Hmm. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. It also doesn't perform especially well. This is the PC version even. And it and it doesn't perform especially well, which is kind of a bummer because there's usually like a lot of stuff happening. And then I, I see you have to buy tanks for 700 silver pieces. Like I have that lying around. Well, yeah, I mean, there's like an extra currency in the game. You you get that every time you level up, you get new parts for your armies. Like the progression loops are still pretty dope. Um, it's just like, if you want to play all the armies, you're you're gonna shell out for it. A what are you bit. doing? Uh, you doing a lot of single player, multiplayer? How you been, what have you been doing? I haven't actually touched the, the multiplayer yet. This has all been um, single player. Uh, I've only been playing for for maybe an hour and a half or so. Um, I I still think it's like a it, it's a really smart game and it's it adds like a franticness that tower defense games I think usually lack. The fact that you have to you know switch between managing the battlefield and then like getting your hands dirty and, and fighting around and being able to do that as He Man is like inarguably that's pretty rad. 
Sure, that's um, yeah, cool. Uh, so, so if you're like a, a diehard fan of the franchise, like I, it's it's I, it is probably conceptually one of the coolest uh, Toy Soldiers games. It's just the, there are some pricing's rough though, man. There are that's some rough. shortcomings, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's out now, and He Man again. He Man is in it. I cannot stress that enough. 